you can count on. And welcome back on this Saturday evening. Meteorologist Brian Ramsey with us now. Uh, really, the smoke has just been absolutely atrocious out there. It's it, I couldn't have said it better myself. I, I don't even know what else yeah. to say about it. It's at hazardous levels. The, the visibility is at a quarter mile right now in yeah. Chico, so it's that bad. Uh, I have a live look right now from East Quincy, and you can see lots of smoke in the town of Quincy and in other areas in the Sierra and in parts of the valley as well. So it's pretty much everywhere uh, right now uh, in California. I have a look at the latest GO-17 satellite imagery, and you can see smoke getting put off in Idaho, Oregon, Washington, California, even more fires farther south in California. That smoke is still coming up into our area. And then we have, of course, uh, the Bear Fire putting off that smoke, August Complex, the Red Salmon Complex, all that's putting off more smoke into California as well. So it's something that I am watching very closely. And the air quality is hazardous in black for Chico, Oroville, Paradise, Megalia, Lake Almanor, and Quincy. So that means don't go outside no matter what. Stay inside if you can. Uh, very unhealthy air quality in Willows and Yuba City, and then unhealthy for the rest of our major uh, cities and towns. As for a look at the visibility, the visibility was a quarter mile about an hour ago or two in Chico. It's now improved to a two-mile visibility in Chico, but still, it's crazy. I usually show this graphic maybe late in the fall or spring when there's lots of fog, but no. I'm having to show this in the middle of summer because it's smoky everywhere. So visibility is being reduced because of that. Tonight and tomorrow across the Lower Klamath Mountains, we're going to see overnight lows in the 50s and 60s. Highs getting into the 80s out there for pretty much everybody. And then as we head into the Sierra Cascades, overnight lows in the 40s and 50s. Highs getting into the 80s out there. Maybe some 90s as you go into eastern Modoc County uh, from Fort Bidwell. As for a look at the ridge, we're going to see overnight lows in the 60s. Highs getting into the 70s, maybe 80s as we go lower in elevation. And then in the Sierra foothills, again, lots of smoke out here. This is going to be the smokiest area of of them all overnight lows in the 60s, highs in the upper 70s to low 80s. In the North Valley, we're going to see overnight lows in the 60s, highs getting just into the low 90s. It will really depend on how much smoke cover you get for tomorrow. And then as we go into the Central Valley, overnight lows in the 50s, highs getting into the 80s out there. And then, of course, a look at your future cats. We've got a big ridge of high pressure sitting over us. That's stable air causing very light winds, which is why the smoke's going nowhere. But big changes on the way. A low pressure system drops down on Sunday. that kicks that high pressure to the east. Now we're in between these two systems. So we're going to see windy weather picking up and more humid weather picking up as well. So that's good and bad for fire danger, but great for our air quality. And we also have a chance of seeing some coastal showers with this low pressure system and maybe even a few showers in the Sierra Cascades or the coastal ranges as well. Uh, with this system, it's not going to be a significant amount of rain, but it is still a possibility. Definitely not going to see anything in the valley. And again, if we do see anything in the mountains, it will be very light and very quick. A look at your future cast for the wind gust. Of course, as we go into tomorrow, we are going to see lots of strong winds uh, ends on Sunday and especially in the mountain region. So there is a red flag warning out there for that. And then as we go later in the forecast, again, wind gusts will continue into Monday. So that red flag warning and fire weather watch are issued on Sunday and Monday for our mountain regions. And of course, rain totals, again, most of that rain going to happen closer to the coast if it even happens. As for a look at tomorrow's forecast, though, it's it's fortune cookie day, so there's the good news. I love Chinese food, and I absolutely die for those fortune cookies in the bag. So uh, may, sometimes I even ask for like an extra fortune cookie. But of course, the high tomorrow will be at about 88 degrees. As for a look at that seven-day forecast in Chico, high of 87 degrees for today and tomorrow and for Monday. But once we go later in the week, we are back into the low 80s. Uh, as we approach next weekend, 93 for today, but we do drop it to the 80s next week in Redding as well. Okay, we'll take that humidity. Uh, we don't want the wind, but we'll take that humidity. Let's hope that comes in here, pushes out some of the smoke, and helps with the fire danger. Tonight, a family losing their home after the Bear Fire tore through their area. Action News Now reporter Danny Mastin spoke with the family and shows us how they're holding up tonight.